All right, class, let's distinguish between amplitude, frequency, wavelength, and wave speed. Wave speed's the same thing as velocity. So nothing new here. So just imagine that you have a car moving from left to right across the screen. In this case, we got a wave, no, nothing new. So if you wanna find how fast this object is moving, if you wanna find its velocity, then you gotta know how far it's going, its distance, and you gotta know in how much time it's taking to get there. So wave speed, same thing as the velocity. Symbol for wave speed, wave speed is V for velocity, and the units for wave speed is meters per second, m over s. And you calculate it using the equation that you guys know, V equals d over t, distance divided by time. And the easiest way to find the wave speed is to track how fast the crests are moving. So I just like to track the crests. That's how I do it. It's not so hard. And let's do it really quick here because you'll have to do this in labs and things like that. Um, this wave starts at zero meters, and let's start our timer off in three, two, one, zero Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. So I was just tracking that wave crest, and it took about four Mississippis, or four seconds, four seconds to go a distance of 10 meters. And so we use our handy dandy equation, velocity equals distance divided by time. Our distance was 10, our time was 4, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. In physics, you never forget your units. This is a, a speed, it's a velocity, 2.5 meters per second. That's the wave speed. If you can find the velocity, then you've found the wave speed. So think about different wave speeds. The speed of sound, the speed of light. You're just tracking how fast the wave is moving. Wavelength. Wavelength's another nice and easy one. It's just how long the wave is. Just, it's a, it's, it's a distance. It's measured in meters. So how long is one wave? Well, we can find the, the length from crest to crest. That tells us the length of one wave because we've, we have, we've, started our cycle over again when we go from a crest to another crest our cycle now starts anew and so from one crest to another crest is one cycle and so that shows us that we can find the wavelength by looking from crest to crest this symbol here this is the greek symbol lambda and it's just the greek symbol for wavelength it's just a shorthand way of, of writing it now if I um, look at this distance here, if I bring this little guy down here, it's also the distance from, from trough to trough because that's one complete cycle as well. So wavelength, wavelength is the length of a single wave and can be measured by finding the distance from crest to crest or from trough to trough. The symbol is the Greek letter lambda and the units for the wavelength is the meters. So how long is it in meters? Now one full wavelength is created by one complete oscillation. So from crest to crest, that's one complete oscillation. From trough to trough, that is one complete cycle or vibration, up, down, and back. Um, and also from this equilibrium point, to this equilibrium point because you can just imagine that now the wave will start um, the 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 wave will repeat itself or the the oscill the cycle will repeat itself after this point so these are all the, these all represent one wavelength so if you see this pattern this pattern or this pattern that's one wavelength um, make sure that you're you know not just looking at the crest only without going you know down below the equilibrium line you got to see the whole shape there so the equilibrium line is a nice thing to see now let's see how many wavelengths are in this wave to the right so this is super easy one wave cool i see that pattern this one that was right there two waves so there's two waves and then this isn't a full wave here. That's a half of a wave. That's that's a half of a wave. You can even see, like, let me just... 
if I were to line it up here, this is just half. It needs that other part too, so that's a half. So how 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 uh, how many wavelengths is the wave to the right? So we have two and a half, two point five wavelengths. Cool, easy peasy. Frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that pass in a given amount of time. I'm going to move this uh, red wave. It's going to pass this um, this little location here, uh, this gray little dotted line. And I'm going to, with my with my voice, I'm going to make a beep every time a crest a crest passes through this given point. Uh, and I'm going to move it at a certain velocity, and I'm moving it to, from left to right, and beep. Beep, beep. Okay, so we heard that sound. I moved the wave across and I heard that beep, beep, beep. That gives me a sense of the frequency. I'm gonna do the same thing with this blue wave here. I'm gonna move it across the screen at the same velocity. I'm not gonna change my wave speed, but let's listen to how many, um, let's listen to the frequency by noticing when the wave crests pass through a given point, this point right here. All right. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so I moved the uh, the two waves at the same speed, they had the same velocity, um, but this one down here, the blue, the blue one, had a high frequency, had a much higher frequency, had a much higher frequency the number of waves that pass a fixed point in a given amount of time. So the easiest way to measure frequency is to count, the easiest way to measure frequency is to count how many crests pass through a fixed point in space. And then we calculate frequency with the equation, frequency equals the number of oscillations, number of waves, divided by the time. And the unit for frequency is the hertz, or hz. So here's my fixed point right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many waves pass through in a given amount of time. So let's just count the time for one wave to pass through. Zero Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. About three seconds to go from crest to crest and remember a crest to a crest is one wavelength that's one that's one wave so i had my frequency is my number of waves i had one wave and it took three seconds it took three seconds and one divided by three is like 0 0.33 repeating so i'll just do like 0 0.3 rounding ah whoa my screen started to not work. Oh my gosh. Anyways, the last thing, I don't know why it's not working, guys. Whatever. Um, the last thing that I wanted to write was that it's 0 0.3 hertz. HZ. HZ. Oh, totally. My my uh, my screen went, went crazy. But it, hertz are the units of frequency. Um, the